um, there's three types of businesses. There's those that make things happen, there's those that watch what happens and there's those that wonder what happened. I've been on the VACCARD committee for over 10 years and uh, eight of those years I've been as chairman and uh, the reason I'm committed and uh, doing the job is because I've got a lot out of the industry which I want to put back and there's a lot to be done to improve it so uh, I've got a few years in me yet. From my personal perspective um, I could see there were changes happening in the, in the industry, uh, for example the end of local manufacturing and I wanted to be part of the uh, I guess solution to the challenges that we're going to face our industry and also uh, I guess give back a bit to the industry that supported me, my family and my staff's families for the last 20 years or so. For me, um, I understood, understood pretty early on coming to some of those meetings, if you want things to happen, you've got to be part of a committee. You can't, I can't sit here and have a bit of a whinge about, you know, this, I'm not happy about this or I'm not happy about that, and not actively one voice it to try and do something about it. So that's why I really wanted to come on. The ongoing and future prosperity of our industry relies on a number of factors, including industry sector representation, identifying industry issues, influencing government and regulatory bodies with sector specific information and policy guidance. We need to make submissions on important legislative and regulatory reforms and also we need to have a unified voice on behalf of all Victorian and Tasmanian members. This requires member involvement which is why it's important to be involved with the VACC Auto Repairers Division. And some of the challenges that this industry face on a daily basis will be the post-COVID recovery and resulting skill shortage. Also, we're dealing with massive change to our industry such as emerging technologies and regulatory impacts. Of course, the transition to electric vehicles is high on that list as well. There's many. Um, I guess there's three key challenges. Um, one is the availability of suitably qualified technicians. Um, that's not an easy thing to fix, that's going to involve um, government, it's going to involve training organisations and it's going to involve us, the industry, uh, contributing our opinions through mechanisms like the ARD, ARD committee. Um, for us with the ARD, what we're doing is we're advocating for having a streamlined approach to migration coming into Australia, so making sure we match the skills correctly, making sure that the repairer or um, well, the mechanical repairer stays on the skilled migration list and doesn't drop off. Those sorts of things are really important. Uh, yeah, certainly the, 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 the main, well the easy win, wasn't an easy win, but the main win has been the uh, access to repair information legislation and the creation of ASRA. That, that's been a game changer for the industry. Uh, also the work that's been done with uh, Vic Roads on the e-roadworthy, bringing in the e-roadworthy system and also being able to provide training EV around EVs for members so they can make informed decisions on EV as it, how it's going to, that new technology is going to affect their business. So we've had um, Dirk come out from the United States um, and run a couple of um, sessions on the electric vehicles and the batteries and things like that. So that's an important thing. So, you know, if if we don't have these divisions or we, if we didn't have the ARD, we'd all just be, you know, these little fish swimming in this big pond, not really working together. Because we've got it, um, we're able to then engage experts to come out to us and to talk to us and tell us, you know, about what's going on globally and what to look out for. And, you know, that's part of the the meetings after work too. Pretty much seeing the industry being uh, pushed against the wall without the freedom of information and right to repair, which we've now got over the line and uh, able to utilise everything that a dealership utilises and we can do everything in-house now rather than doing the job, then sending it to a dealership to have it uh, coded which is time convenience and uh, we get the job done, hand it back to the customer at the door, so yeah.
Um, the ARD committee through the chamber is engaging with uh, state and federal government uh, at the ministerial level, um, meeting with ministers, attending um, conferences and those sort of things and putting our views, our concerns forward to the, to the decision makers so that decisions, the right decisions get made that help our industry and don't hinder our industry. How can members help? Uh, well, they can help by uh, responding to the surveys we put out uh, to try and gather information um, to put forward to government. Um, and they can contribute through the uh, ARD Facebook page uh, and just getting in contact with us. So, if there's a campaign, jump on it, call somebody. If you don't know who to call, all you have to do is go to the BACC website, look up the ARD, contact one of us, ask us a question. Come to a meeting, because I guarantee um, we're discussing what you're discussing. Well, they can contact the uh, ARD chair, they can contact you, the divisional manager. Uh, they can contact any of the committee members, uh, get in touch through the ARD Facebook page, um, attend member nights, any of those sort of things, that's how members can get involved. Contact VACC or any committee member, have a chat and uh, there's plenty of room <laughs> on the committee. We welcome new committee members all the time, so no, definitely a place to be. Yeah, I, I guess for those members sitting on the fence about these sort of things, um, there's three types of businesses. There's those that make things happen, there's those that watch what happens and there's those that wonder what happened. I guess you need to ask yourself as a, as a business owner, what, what do you want your business to be? Thank you for taking the time to explore the benefits of the VACC Automotive Repairers Divisional Committee. Together I believe we hold the power to shape our industry's future. If you would like to know more or have any questions about other VACC committees, please reach out to me at any time.